internet safety is a big issue these days as children as young as 8 are joining social networking sites such as Facebook and Bebo. Statistics show that 1 in 5 young children are logging into networks such as Facebook and MySpace. Even more, a huge 55% use instant messaging programs. And 21% regularly log on to chat rooms. The scary part is most of the children don't actually know who they're talking to. So, how can we ensure that schools teach young children how to use the internet safely? I'm here with Mr Fenneth, the assistant head teacher who is in charge of e-learning to ask him about internet safety. So how do you ensure that students are safe online during school? Um, well, we've got a number of ways in, of ensuring that students are safe online. We have firstly a programme which is called Securus, which monitors the activity of anyone, and that's students and staff, to see what websites they're looking at and to check that they're not typing anything inappropriate, either into the search engines or into messages. And uh, secondly, we have an acceptable usage policy which is in place, and all of the students and staff have to sign that. And if anyone breaches that, then they have relevant sanctions. So if it's a student who breaches it, then they can end up in a detention or being excluded, as we've had recently. If it's a member of staff that's uh, breached the policy, then they can be reprimanded and dealt with. Do you think it's effective? Um, it certainly is something that's effective at the moment, and it's, um, it is being used and it's caught out several students. Uh, most recently, we've had an exclusion for five days for a student who was sending inappropriate emails using the school system. Um, and it catches roughly 99% of the people who send something inappropriate or type something inappropriate on the school system. It obviously doesn't catch people who are doing things from home, but we're looking at ways of trying to make sure that students do stay safe at home and develop the system. Um, do you think anything more could be done? Um, I certainly think training is a big issue, and it's not just for the students, but for staff. At the moment, we've uh, just started a new programme of e-safety talks to all of the students in ICT so at the beginning of the year um, each student is told about the use of social networking sites such as Facebook, Bebo um, and they're given some guidance on how to use them and what they can do if they experience cyberbullying so I think it's, uh, it's something that's developing. Um, do you think that internet safety should be taught more in schools? Definitely, and it's part of a big push at the moment by Vector, which are a big uh, British organisation which are working uh, closely to develop technology in schools. But it's, it's definitely something which needs more of a focus, and it will be something that Ofsted, the government inspectors, will be looking at to see that e-safety is covered in schools. Yeah. So do you think parents and carers should be more involved, and are you doing anything to make sure that they can be more involved in their lives? safety on the internet? Yeah, I, I definitely think uh, parents need to be involved in uh, child safety on the internet. They've got to be aware of some of the dangers that are currently facing children, uh, and that's through sites such as Facebook and Bebo, where uh, children are adding friends, people who they don't know at all, um, or people who are being engaged on MSN through chat and various different things. Um, as, a, as a college, we're looking to try and develop a system where parents can come in and they can see various presentations on how to keep their children safe online and also have some practical hands-on sessions in our ICT rooms where parents can learn about setting privacy on different things. And it is the case now that there are many parents who are on Facebook and are on MSN and different uh, social networking sites and they're not sure how to set those. So it's not just um, educating them for the sake of the children, it's also for their own safety as well. Thank you for your time. No problem. How many of you use social networking sites? How many of you talk to people that you don't know on the sites? How many of you talk to people you don't know on the sites? That was only one class. Imagine how many people have talked to strangers throughout the country. We are doing an interview with two year sevens. Are you a member of a social networking site? Yeah. 
They used to be, but there was too many friends on it, and I just got bored of it. Okay, which ones do you use? Facebook and MSN. MSN. What do you like about them? Um, I like talking to my friends and stuff. How often do you use them? Every day. Not that often. Do you talk to people you don't know on these things? No. no. Would you ever meet up with anybody that you didn't know? No. No. Do your parents carers know what sites you go on? Sometimes. Sometimes. Are you aware of the dangers of not being internet safe? Yeah. Um, like, don't talk to people who you don't know. Don't meet up with them. And um, don't ever give your password out or any information. Yeah. Um, do you think schools should warn students about these dangers? Yeah, because many people, like, such as schools, don't know much stuff about internet safety. So how can we inform children of the dangers of talking to strangers online? Right students, this is the advice that you need to take to make sure that you are e-safe. Chat safely. Be careful because people on the internet mightn't be who they say they are. Hang on to your personal information such as your address, your email, your phone number or where you go to school. Arranging to meet someone could be dangerous. Don't arrange to meet anyone offline unless you are accompanied by a parent or a guardian. Tell your friends or an adult if you feel uncomfortable at any time. Strangers mightn't be who they say they are. You need to always be aware of this. Accept your friend requests only from people you are 100% sure you know. Free phone child line on 0800 1111 if you need or want to talk to someone in private. Enjoy the internet more by making sure you stay safe at all times. Listen to this advice. You only have one life.